Social distancing is a foreign concept developed in the Western world that does not take into account our Zambian culture and social norms. Instead of copying and pasting from those whose lives are too different from ours, we should look to China as an example. The Chinese were able to implement a system to contain the spread of COVID-19 that took care of the poorest and most vulnerable in society. We urgently need to work together. Everyone from government, NGOs, the private sector, and every citizen must find a way to play a part in efforts to avoid the coronavirus pandemic from having a devastating effect in our country. China's approach to COVID-19. China was one of the first countries to be hit by the coronavirus in December 2019. The Chinese government managed to contain the spread by instituting a strict lockdown of affected provinces like Wuhan. They also prioritized testing, which is still a challenge with most countries dealing with the pandemic due to a lack of testing equipment. The Chinese work ethic is not easily replicated by the rest of the world. They have the manpower which enabled them to boost their public health capacity quickly by building multiple facilities in weeks. Every citizen also understood their part in the fight. They were compliant ensuring easy tracking and contact tracing. And if they had anything to offer of help, they supplied it and continue to do so, not just in China, but also towards the ongoing global fight. European approach. European countries like Italy and Spain do have a similar culture to Africans and we Zambians in terms of how we live in our communities and relate to one another. In the last couple of months, they have recorded some of the highest number of cases and deaths in the world. Other countries like Germany and the UK are also on lockdown. The health minister in the United Kingdom is under fire for not adequately preparing the state for the global pandemic. As much as governments have encouraged social distancing and enforcing lockdowns in these countries, it is clear that these measures are not sufficient to eradicate COVID-19 without also destroying global economies. African approach. By mid-March, the coronavirus had spread to the African continent, causing most countries to close their borders and some went as far as declaring a state of emergency like Senegal. South Africa recently extended their lockdown to the end of April to continue to curb the spread. However, this move is at great cost as most citizens cannot afford to comply with the terms of the lockdown by staying at home. The military have been deployed to help keep people off the streets. West African countries that dealt with Ebola are using protocols put in place years ago to contain the virus along with global recommendations. However, all of these measures were enforced quickly and citizens in countries across Africa were not prepared and most governments do not have safety nets to get their people through this. Economies will take a long time to recover not being able to provide for families could have devastating physical and mental health consequences for many, especially with the medical systems already strained and now pushed beyond their limits by the coronavirus. Zambian approach. Here in Zambia, misinformation about COVID-19 quickly spread after the first case was reported on the 18th of March even after months of news about other countries dealing with it. The country was soon ordered to practice social distancing and trade restrictions placed. Those interviewed on the streets of Lusaka and in the markets are still trying to make a living despite misconceptions and the possible risk of spreading the coronavirus. Hotels and lodges have mostly closed while others continue to operate with essential staff only. We as citizens can see this as an opportunity to innovate and ensure that the economy doesn't plunge into a deep recession. What does our future look like socially and economically after we get things under control? What can we learn from how China dealt with the coronavirus and how African countries are fighting the pandemic? We need to focus on what advantages Zambian culture has and pair those with best practices from around the world. We need to not only plan for the short term, but how we are going to recover and thrive in the long run.